Right then, we're just about to head outside to test this rocket on the wing of a plane um, and hopefully it's going to work because if it doesn't then things might go badly wrong. That's what happens when you've got rockets involved. I'd quite like to do this fairly quickly because as you can see it's quite windy and very cold and also incredibly wet and it might rain at any second. So this has got the igniters in, this is the rocket obviously. Here's the power which is going to ignite the igniter. So this is just, as you've seen before, one of these. I've not done this for years, so if I do make a mistake. And then this is the little plug which holds this igniter in. There we go. And bend these apart so they don't short out. So that's the rocket and now it's ready to be slid onto here. Before I plug in the rocket and make it live, I'm going to uh, plug the plane in. So that's all ready. So now, as you can see, the plane is working. So I need to disengage the switch. Okay. Right. Oh, it's fallen over again. Okay, so there's a target here. Hopefully, we're going to hit it. Probably not. <laughs> okay, so we're ready to go. I'm going to go and plug the battery in, and then hopefully it doesn't take off as I plug it in. Okay, we're going to go live. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah, it didn't work. Okay, well, we're back out here again and I've just resoldered like a direct switch. So as soon as I plug the battery in, it's gonna fire the rocket and uh, can redesign the switch at a later, uh, a later date. So yeah, see if this round two works. And no battery attached. Three, two, one. Oh. That went, that went over that way. <laughs> well, that didn't quite work. Um, I'm not sure why that happened. I'm going to do one more. I think the problem is that the launch pole isn't long enough. So this time I've angled the aircraft slightly up. So I don't know if that's going to affect it, but we'll see. Maybe it, it flew off too quickly. Well, I, don't, I don't know, but we'll see if that has an effect and then look at the results. Three, two, one. I might abandon this project. It's getting a little bit scary. Okay, so this one started off going up here and then it sort of went Whee! over there into those trees don't worry about the the fire hazard it's sopping wet in there so um yeah hmm interesting well back to the studio right then so um that was fun <laughs> i feel like i should mention that um as said at the beginning of this video, that this was an experiment purely done for research and just fun, really. <laughs> it was done safely and I also got in touch with the CAA, which is the Civil Aviation Authority here in the UK, to make sure that what I was doing was legal and fine and 
yeah, it, it was. <laughs> just in case you wondered why I was doing this project, uh, <laughs> it was it's just for fun. It's, uh, yeah, it's fun firing rockets from things. As you saw, there's some work that needs to be done on the project before I can actually uh, realistically start firing these things from a moving aircraft. So if you want me to continue with the project, then just let me know, I suppose. Uh, if I get enough support about it, I'll continue developing the rockets and the, the sort of hardware that I need to do before I can get these things up in the air. Um, so just post a comment below and like the video and that should uh, that should inspire me and spur me on to actually <laughs> to actually uh, complete this. And also let me know what other projects that you'd like me to do because uh, I used to do a lot of stuff with rockets back in the day and I had some interesting experiences with them. Uh, <laughs> Lots of, lots of failures and things blowing up occasionally. No, I can see it's smoking on top of the building. So that might make some interesting content if I revisit that, I suppose. Also, if you want to know more about this project in particular, then just visit the article which I've written about this project. Um, link is in the description down below. And you can read up more about how it works and my sort of thought process throughout the whole thing. And all that interesting stuff, if you are actually interested. Yeah, so as I say, links in the description, there's also links to other interesting things down there, and I suppose that's all. So I'll see you next time for the next instalment in this project, or some other projects, and yeah, I'll see you then. Thanks very much for watching.